Well, I mean, very selfishly, got diagnosed with cancer. And it really put a spanner in the yeah, works. Yeah, it did put a spanner in the works. Really. I, for one, was livid <laughs> on so many levels. Didn't you say something to Chloe? I said, if Maureen gets really sick, it's going to ruin my... It's going to ruin a lot of things for me, just my general life. And I'll be really annoyed with her about it. But fortunately... <laughs> Chloe's like, oh, it's interesting how you've made that about you. <laughs> very unusual for a stand-up comic. Uh, luckily, I was very lucky. So, um, you know... Hopefully, I haven't had it all clear yet, but hopefully it's all been sorted. Yeah. It's all been sorted. Thank you, NHS. Thank you. Yes, thank you, NHS. Um, that was quite funny when you when we, you came up with me to find out the results. We had to wait for two hours. Jen was getting a bit knocked by the end of it. Do you remember that couple, that mother and daughter in that conversation? It was like a really bad sitcom. Were they mother and daughter? I think they were mother and daughter. Fucking hell. Wow. I don't even remember. I didn't even remember what they were saying. But every now and again, we'd listen to it and go, "What?" The woman goes, oh, "I didn't know I had to come here. I thought they told you." Yeah, they did, but I didn't know. But, I thought oh, they, they, <laughs> but they told you to come here. I know they did, but I didn't know I was supposed to come here. <laughs> but they told you. But they got a letter, didn't you? They told you. Yes, I know. I, I know. I said that, but I didn't know I was supposed to come here. We were like, "Hang on a minute. That doesn't make any sense." <laughs> what was great was that the daughter was like, "Yeah, but they told you to come here." Yes, and the other mum was like, yes, yes I, I know, know, but I, I didn't, didn't know. know. <laughs> Jen's eyes were doing a lot of rolling at that point. <laughs> I, was like, I can't handle this. Some of the stuff they came out with, you were like, if they put this in sitcom, you wouldn't People believe wouldn't it. People wouldn't believe it. It was, we should have really noted it down. It was bloody hilarious. Anyway, we had to wait for two hours, Jen. They were talking, they were talking about some woman for ages, weren't they? <laughs> I said to her, I said, well, you know, she's had her, she's had her rip done. Well, she shouldn't have, should she? Because I said to her, she shouldn't have done it. She shouldn't have been out there. I know, she shouldn't have been out. But she had it and she's got it done. Well, you know what I think about that? It was, I've it got was, a feeling you're going to tell me. It was, they were very loud, let's put it that way. Me and Joe were very quiet in the corner, if you could believe that, but we were. We weren't. People kept staring at us going like, shut the fuck up. If Maureen thinks we're quiet, we were not quiet. Every now and again, Maureen would laugh and then people would turn around looking angry. Yeah, you're not meant to. Not meant to. Not meant to laugh in hospitals. No, we're not. Not in the. What do you call? What's the, what's the uh, cancer ward called? Ontology. Is it ontology? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, oh, oh. oh anyway, whatever. Oh, it is. no, it's uh, oncology. Oncology. We yeah. weren't in oncology. Yeah, we were. No, we weren't. Were we? No, we were in. Um, I don't know. Something to do with. Uh, you blood, blood, urine, blood, and stomachs, or something. I don't, I don't know. know. Is, that, is that a department in hospital? <laughs> what department do you want? Uh, urine, blood, and stomachs, please. <laughs> yeah, just go down the corridor. It's <laughs> urine, blood, and stomachs. So, anyways, and then um, it wasn't that. Then it was like we were like waiting for two hours, but I mean, Chan was like, I had a word with her, word of reception. Um, and then we got to see it, and then the doctor, as soon as we walked, Jen walked in, went, and I said, She's been waiting here for two hours, and a woman went, I've been waiting here longer than you. I was like, What? Well, that's a fair enough point. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> she's well. I've been here. Wait, I've waited longer than you. It's not a competition. I was like, well, you deal with your own moaning. <laughs> I can only deal with my moaning. I can't deal with your moaning. You go and moan. All right. No, when, no, people, when people go like, don't moan. I'm like, I'll, I will still moan. It's, it's like saying you're in a restaurant and your meal's shit. And you go, well, my meal's shit as well. Will you fucking tell them it's shit and I'll tell them mine's shit. It's shit. Anyway, eventually we got in. <sighs> The doctor took one look at Jen and went, and who is this? And we said it as a friend. He still was like. <laughs> I had dolled myself up. I'd gone in an evening gown in Demonte Brooch and high heel shoes. I mean, <laughs> one was wearing a dress. God love her. <laughs> it just went up a little bit too high at the back. <laughs> Did it? A little bit. I thought, please don't bend forward. <laughs> and there's me in a pair of like chinos. <laughs> And a t-shirt. <laughs> a little jacket, bomber jacket. A little bomber jacket. <laughs> oh, here come the odd couple. 